Toronto man accused of plotting terror attack at Jewish Center in New York City. A Toronto area man is facing terror charges in both Canada and the United States, authorities say, for allegedly attempting to illegally enter the U.S. to carry out a mass shooting at a Jewish center in New York City. News releases issued Friday by the U.S. Department of Justice and the RCMP identified the accused in the case as 20-year-old Mohammad Shahzeb Khan, who investigators say also goes by Shahzeb Jadoun. Khan was arrested Wednesday in the town of Ormstown, Quebec, about 60 kilometers south of Montreal. U.S. authorities described him as a Pakistani citizen residing in Canada. He now faces three charges in Canada. Attempting to leave Canada to commit an offense for a terrorist group. Participating in the activities of a terrorist group. Conspiracy to commit an offense by violating U.S. immigration law, entering or attempting to enter the U.S. unlawfully. Khan also faces a charge in the U.S. of attempting to provide material support and resources to a designated foreign terrorist organization, namely ISIS. The defendant is alleged to have planned a terrorist attack in New York City around October 7 of this year with the stated goal of slaughtering, in the name of ISIS, as many Jewish people as possible, said U.S. Attorney General Merrick B. Garland, in a statement. Thanks to the investigative work of the FBI and the quick action of our Canadian law enforcement partners, the defendant was taken into custody. RCMP officials said in a news release that we can reassure the public that as his actions escalated, at no point in time was Khan an immediate threat prior to his arrest. RCMP Commissioner Mike Duhim also said in a statement, statement that violent extremism in all its forms is on the rise worldwide, and Canada is not immune to the problem. This planned anti-Semitic attack against Jewish people in the U.S. is deplorable and there is no place for such ideological and hate-motivated crime in Canada, Duhim said. We are committed to keeping all Canadians safe and ask for the support of all Canadians to help prevent such threats. Khan is slated to appear in Superior Court in Montreal on September 13. Accused allegedly spoke to undercover officers. Khan is believed to have been heading toward Roxham Road with the intention of illegally entering the U.S., sources say, when he was arrested around 5 p.m. Wednesday near the intersection of Gale and Church Streets. U.S. authorities allege Khan intended to use automatic and semi-automatic weapons to carry out a mass shooting in support of ISIS at a Jewish center in Brooklyn, New York. Information police say they gleaned from conversations between the accused and two undercover officers. Khan began posting on social media and talking with people about his support for ISIS on an encrypted messaging app around November of 2023, according to the news release. Two of those people were undercover agents, the Department of Justice says. I in the midst of those conversations, Khan allegedly said he and a U.S.-based ISIS supporter had been planning an attack in a different, unnamed city, and repeatedly instructed the undercover officers to obtain assault rifles, ammunition, and other materials to carry out their plan. He allegedly suggested October 7 and October 11 as possible dates for the attack, with the former being the one-year anniversary of the Hamas attack that renewed a decades-long conflict with Israel, and the latter being the start of Yom Kippur. Around August 20, Khan changed his target to the aforementioned Jewish Center in New York, citing the area's large Jewish population. According to the Department of Justice news release, he allegedly stated, we are going to NYC to slaughter them. During one communication, U.S. authorities say, Khan allegedly said, if we succeed with our plan this would be the largest attack on U.S. soil since 9-11. The Department of Justice says Khan used three separate cars to travel toward the U.S. before he was stopped by police in Quebec, large police presence in small Quebec town. Ormstown resident Elizabeth Henshaw told Radio Canada that she came home Wednesday to find dozens of police officers outside her home with a man handcuffed on her front lawn and a woman in cuffs on her front porch. The police said it was confidential and they couldn't tell me what was going on, she said. Henshaw said police were also looking through a car that had been stopped on her street before it was eventually taken away. She said Ormstown is a very quiet little town, with a population just under 4,000 people, according to Statistics Canada. It was very unusual, it was the talk of the town, she said.